Okay, friends, I'm going to show you how I do my baked potatoes. I, I'll make extra baked potatoes and I will freeze these. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. This is so easy. But I cook these a bunch at a time so I don't heat up my oven. I cook them in my slow cooker and I just let them cook for about four or five hours on low. So that, But this is really easy to do and you'll love this. And you can wrap them when they're done and you can just freeze them in a bag. They're beautiful. So anyway, with that, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six potatoes here. And I'm going to put a little of my olive oil on there because I'm going to rub them in. I'm also going to put a little bit of my Greek seasoning to rub in on these too. And they will taste wonderful. The seasoning as it cooks will permeate through the, the potato skin and they'll, it just makes them taste fantastic. I'm also going to put just a little bit of salt in here. Okay. All right, now I'm just going to take and I'm just going to rub these. Rub it all on there. And I'm going to set them right in my slow cooker. Okay. Absolutely wonderful. This is perfect in the summertime, too, especially in the summertime if you don't want to heat up your house and run your oven and because if it gets too hot, you can always set your slow cooker outside in your garage, wherever. But it won't heat up your house as much as your oven will. But anyway, this is, I've always found this to be the easiest way to do baked potatoes. They turn out fantastic. Actually, let me take this last little bit here. Rub it on some of these. Okay. Let me take my gloves off. Alright, so that's going to stay just like that. And they're going to be in there for about, oh, between four and five hours. And I turn them on low. Now, you want them to cook all the way through, but you don't want them to be mushy. So you still want a little resistance when you poke them with a knife. But anyway, that's it. And when these are done, I'll bring it back and I'll show you just how I... Um, take care of them to freeze them. Okay, friends. These have been going. They're done. I'm sure they're done. They have been going for about four and a half to five hours now. And as you can see, I can stick the knife in there fairly easy, but there's still a little resistance, which is what you want. So with that, I'm going to take these out of here because I'm going to want them to cool before I freeze them. So I'm just going to set them right here. In this cake pan. And they will cool in there. And that's how easy that is to do. So these got to cool for about... No, I, I, you know, I'm going to let them cool for a couple hours at least. And then I'll bring you back and I'll show you just how I wrap them and make them ready for the freezer. This is wonderful. You're going to love this. Okay, friends, my potatoes are all cooled off perfectly. So what I got going on here is I have got a nice big heavy Ziploc bag. And I'm going to put... The potatoes and the date on there. Okay? So I set that aside. It will dry off. Now, all I do is I take just enough I take just enough of my aluminum foil to roll them up in. Because with these, you can, what I'm going to do with these is when we do a lot of grilling out, I just put these on the grill and then all they got to do is warm through and you're all set. 
because it doesn't take long to cook a steak, so I'll take them out to unthaw. Then I'll put them on the grill when we put our steaks on, and then they're heated all the way through in no time. Absolutely wonderful. I usually have more than this in my freezer, but this is okay for a start. This will be perfect. Just make them nice and snug. They won't come apart. They're already seasoned. That's what I love about them. This is good to do too when you have a when you get a lot of potatoes on sale and you have an abundance of them. It's perfect for that. Or you can do like my other video where I showed you how to um, cook mashed potatoes and freeze them. Works out wonderful either way. So with that, I got all of them done. All six, so I'm going to put them right here in my bag. And they would be perfect in the freezer. And there you have it. Very easy. And a perfect idea for freezing baked potatoes and an easy way to make them. There you have it, friends. Thanks for watching.